So hello and welcome back to the channel and another A3 video. So in today's video I plan to try to tackle some of the um, codes that are stored on the ECU and specifically the codes relating to the SRS system, so the airbag system basically. At present there's I think five or six codes on there um, and the ones I want to try and tackle are there's a code for the crash sensor which has a cut wire so that will be a simple fix. There's a code for the bonnet uh, tensioner is what they call I think, something like that. Basically what happens is when there's a crash these actuators fire and push the back of the bonnet up um, in case it's a pedestrian that you hit to try to divert them over the windscreen and save them getting as badly hurt as they could do. There's code stored for both front seat belts. This one, it appears to be fine, but I've already scanned it and I know the, um, you know, the tension is actually blown in it from the crash. Um, whereas the passenger one is obviously fired because it's absolutely solid. We know that. Um, and I'm probably also going to try and tackle the driver's steam wheel airbag. So that'll get rid of us, get rid of what, one, two, three, four, five codes from the system. So we'll scan it, scan it again quickly now just to remind us of the codes. I'll plug that in and I'll come back in a minute. Okay, so there's, that's the codes. I hope they have come up okay on the camera. So the first one is um, the front airbag igniter. So that's the steering wheel airbag. So we'll be able to get rid of that code. We'll change that over. Um, the second code is for the passenger airbag, which is, is the dashboard. I'm not going to tackle the dashboard today because I haven't really got enough time. Then the next two are both belt tensioners. So the passenger and the driver's seat belts, we'll, we're going to swap them out. Get rid of them too. The knee airbag I'm going to leave again until I've done until I get onto the dashboard. Um, crash sensor for front airbag driver side open circuit, so that's going to be that, you know, that wire that's been snapped at the front. Um, crash sensor for pedestrian protection system, so there are them two actuators left and right side, so there's a code for each individually um, by the looks of it. Crash sensor for pedestrian protection side open circuit. Another position sensor as well, so perhaps all them three will go just by changing the two actuators. So that's what we're going to look at doing, getting rid of them, them, them codes. So we should only be left with the knee airbag and the front airbag and outer passenger side by the end of today. So I think we'll just uh, we'll go straight ahead and tackle the the driver's airbag. I think, seeing as seeing as we're here. Okay, so in order to get this driver's steering wheel airbag off. You, you basically have to take the cowling off, so the plastic two cases, and then on the back side of the door, the door, the um, steering wheel there, there's, there's an access hole. You put a screwdriver up there and you can release two pins. There's one on this side, and obviously there's one on that side. You release them clips and the, and the, and the airbag just, just comes off straight towards you. So I'll just grab some tools and we'll crack on with that. Alright, so I just went ahead and removed that. It only took um, a couple of minutes, so I didn't see the part in video in it, but I will just run through quickly how I got it off. Um, so first of all, the top of the cowling needs removing from behind the steering wheel. And this just clicks together there, so you just get a little flat screwdriver in that gap and prise the top off, up and out the way. Like that. Position the steering wheel you know, either up or down, you know, whichever way you want. And in the back, it's that little metal tab there. Then metal, these little hooks on the airbag clip around that metal tab. So on the back of it, all you do is get a little flathead screwdriver, poke it in the back of it from behind and push, push the metal tab down so then it comes forwards. And then rotate the wheel and do exactly the same with that one, with it at the top. Once you've got them undone, you only have the two plugs, that yellow one, that little black one, that go into there and into that. And then the airbag 
comes away. It's as simple as that, two minute job. So the, the new airbag is wrapped up over there with the new dashboard. So we need to unwrap that, that dashboard now and get So the same again now, but in reverse. So, first plug. Second plug, the yellow one. Make sure you locate the black plug in the little sleeve there so the cables don't get caught. And there you go, steering wheel airbag clean. So it's nice and flush all the way around, nice gaps. Nice, nice quick job. Okay, just quickly whilst I remember, do make sure you connect, disconnect the battery before messing with any airbag stuff, just in case. Now, um, whilst I'm unpacking this lot, I did come across the seat belts which is good, they are in in this bag yeah. so we've got them but next I'm going to tackle this crash sensor and, and connect this cable back up so that's obviously the crash sensor end um, I think down here that is the other end so we'll um, we'll get them soldered together. All right, there's not a lot of room to vi to video actually doing the job, so I've prepped it ready. I've stripped back the ends. We've got heat shrink on to go over each individual cable once they're joined, and then we've got another heat shrink to go over both afterwards to tie and tidy it up. So I'm gonna solder these together now. That said, unfortunately I can't get it on camera. There's no access down there to get a camera in. So we're back in a minute. Go, nicely heat sheet sh heat shrinked up should be waterproof uh, I've just added a bit of tape onto the end just to make sure no water could get down into the end of it so that's another job done um, we'll tackle the hinges now we'll tackle them so that way I can get this scuttle panel back on and get the windscreen wipers back on as well then so we're going to um, pull this, I'll tell you what I'm doing, I'm going to tidy up a little bit first, I'll be back in a sec. I uh, just had a quick tidy up, now like I said the next job we're going to tackle is these actuators inside here. 
So this scuttle panel should just pull off. I've had it off already. Get that wire out of the way. It's just sealed into the window a little bit there. So let's pull that seal off. And that now gives us access to these actuators. So what we got? We got a 10 mil nut there. Bolts, nut, nut, yeah, nut. <laughs> and the tops looks like they just bar off. And then you've just got the one modern sensor plug. So again, it's going to be a really quick job. Um, that's a one one nut. That pop it off, change the plug, job done. So in each of these boxes, believe it or not, there is just one of these. Size of that box for that. Hmm. But because obviously they're an explosive at the end of the day, they have to have a reinforced um, cardboard box so inside this card. So, yeah, so I had to vacate the office. Um, so yeah, inside this card, there is some steel wires and that's in case these fire in transit, you know bit overkill but a nice waste of card but anyway that's the new one and the old one exactly the same so we'll throw that one in and we'll do the other one as well Uh, so I'm not going to bother putting wipers back on because this scuttle panel will have to come off eventually for the window to be changed. Alright. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Um, but for the time being it'll stop water getting in there so that's fine. So the next job is going to be the drivers and passenger seat belts, which means um, removing the rear door cards which in turn means emptying the boot of the car. So yeah, I'm sure my brother's going to be happy about that. Putting all this stuff into his garage. Oh well. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly where the um, seatbelt itself is inside here. It's probably down here somewhere, so we're definitely going to have to take off this trim and probably a whole lot so that means you know, the whole of this I think um, let's start pulling bits off no, I'm not going to lie that was a pain in the backside 
the first side is always the harder side because now on the second side I know how to get it off and to be fair first of all you need to get this silk cover off the clips are there and they go inwards down so to get this off you need to prise it basically straight upwards that unclips no problem on there pretty easy the door card you need to get this off first which is extremely awkward then prongs go up there and into the actual steel work and then the bottom two clips are down here then that and that and they are ridiculously tight to the point where I thought I was breaking something rather than removing it which is why it's took so long um, so I'm hoping I've got it away enough now you know disconnecting the bottom is going to be simple enough you've got just a bolt underneath that and then slide the belt off the end of that steel bar and then down there inside there is that screw head just undo that and the belt will come out then so as long as I can get something in there and undo that I'm not going to take any more trim off because it's very easy to break these bits of trim especially the clips and I want it to go back on and not squeak after so we'll try and get a ratchet in there that's, this is the driver's side that's the old one this is the replacement so everything's on there except for this so I'll slide that off there there we are, that's ready to go in that was an absolute pain to get out, I'm not going to joke not going to lie about it now we're going to try and squeeze this one back in the same place because I haven't completely removed the door card I've literally just been working in that gap so yeah it's fun let's get the new one in all right so that's the driver's side done was a pain in the backside <laughs> uh, I couldn't it was very hard to, to video it it's uh, it's too dark in the back of the car really but um, now I know how it comes apart this this one should be done in half the time so basically this this top trim you um, you basically have to force it out from the bottom towards you and then the top hooks just hooks in at the top and so it just comes straight down so out the bottom and then straight down so the silk cover just comes straight up but you just have to get a bar in there and flick it straight up all the way across and the, that and this end comes towards you and then the rest of the door card then pulls straight towards you to get the whole thing out you've got to remove the seats which I'm not doing I'm just suffering down the gap so I'll crack on with this one now I'll try to video it a bit more
So that's both seat belts now changed and all the trim back in. So we've done the list of jobs we were going to do today. We're now going to scan it again. Um, again, I'll just show the codes prior to clearing them. So as we talked about there, the codes that are already on there. Pedestrian possession, protection, blah, blah. Um, crash sensor, belt tensioners, driver's airbag. So we'll now clear the codes. And scan the codes again and see what we've lost. So passenger airbag lights on, that's fine. Near airbag light is on, that's fine. So we haven't lost the faults for the crash sensor for pedestrian protection, driver side, passenger side, centre, open circuits. Um I'll have to look into that one. They should have gone them three, but the seatbelt ones have gone, and the crash sensor for the front's gone as well. But them three should have gone, so we'll have to look into that again. But it's a start. I'm gonna have a quick look at that now, see if I can figure that out. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I swapped over to Vagcom now, and the issue seems to be that one front crash sensor for pedestrian protection. Um, so the actual sensor that activates the bonnet to fire up, that sensor it would appear needs replacing so I haven't really got enough time to investigate it right now, I'm probably just going to order a new one um, and then that should clear them uh, pedestrian protection faults off so decent bit of progress today um, plenty of you know, small little jobs done so uh, we're, we're moving forward at least and I think tomorrow I'm going to attack that dashboard and get the dashboard changed out on the new airbag. So if we can get all of the sensor as well, we can literally get rid of all the airbag um, protocols tomorrow. We'll get a look, but it won't be tomorrow when the video, calls, video comes up, though it'll probably be the day after, so towards the end of the week. But so that's it for today. Um, again, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. They all uh, add up and it does mean a lot. And um, yeah, cheers. Well, uh, I'll see you next time.